This is a quick demonstration movie of the Omnispool Switchbox, um, which really shows how it has revolutionised the way that I deal with my fly lines when travelling. Um, it's a very, very simple system, it's very cheap, it's very effective. All my rigging is set up loop to loop, so if I need to change out a line quickly, if I've ripped one onto coral, or I'm going to change out the line entirely to a dredging line or some such, and uh, you just pull it off, loosen the drag off on the reel, take the end of the fly line, this is a 50 pound boat loop, or flare it slightly with the 130 pound leader, so I just need to squeeze it a little bit. Feed it through the chamfered aperture on the box, and then feed it then through the, the hole that runs right the way through the centre of the spool. Don't need to feed it too far through, just so enough pokes out the other side. Put the handle in, take in a couple of turns, locks in on itself, put the box back together again. And from that point you can start winding. All my lines are set up on switch boxes now, so if I'm going on the trip, I can just uh, go to the cupboard, see which lines I'm going to need for the trip, pull out the ones I need, stop all the boxes together and throw them on my bag. As you can see it takes no time to pull off an entire fly line. All my reels are set up with a large loop on the back of them so that um, I can very easily quickly change lines. I normally use a big boomy twist so that I have 100% knot strength. And I always make the loop large enough so that I can feed the reel or the switch box through it. pop the switch box through the loop, lines off, ready to go. If I was at home I'd put a line care box on and just pull that through, pull out another line that I want to use, in this case another 12 weight floater, because the other one had been damaged, take the brake loop on the end, my vacuum through it. Loop the entire braided loop over the top of the switch box. And as the switch box will flip over and sit on its own stand, it means I can do it all by myself. Don't need any help from anybody. And I can do this whether I'm standing on a flat or in a pitching boat. The spool is designed with just enough friction so that it doesn't overrun. Sometimes it can get a little sticky towards the end of the taper. So I just use my feet just to hold it in place. Finish winding the 12 weight line onto the reel. Job done. I'm ready to go. All I need to do is thread it through the rings and away I go.